there's actually a lot of mood and a lot of wave here in Milan and, and certainly being driven by what's happening with Alessandro Michele at Gucci. I, I think the idea of that eccentric, eclectic girl who really has her own individual spirit, we're seeing it everywhere on the runway and I think it's really a wonderful thing because it's not necessarily about one specific trend as it is about an amalgamation of ideas and a girl can choose as she wants to. I also love Gucci just because it was a bit of a decade dance. There was no period, there was not one idea. We saw the 80s, we saw the 70s, we saw the 60s, even a little bit of the 50s. And I love that ability that Alessandro has to bring all those different decades together with beautiful gowns, crazy shoes that are embellished, even the idea of a little bit of a hip-hop 90s idea with those great mink coats that had diamonds emblazoned on the back and the dripping spray paint Gucci Double G logos. Even the handbags had a bit of a painterly quality to them. Certainly Lorax and Lame on every runway and not an evening fabric, but the idea of Lorax and Lame for daytime. And everyone's loving the idea of a daytime bustier. We saw it emerging in New York. It was on every runway in London and certainly here in Milan at Prada. She put it over a coat that had a bit of a military, almost admiral's sensibility with a seaside sensibility to it. I also like the idea of all these menswear fabrics we're seeing when they're light and they have a great pattern, a great plaid, a great check. Volume and outerwear. Everybody likes the idea of a coat that has a lot of volume that's going over a beautiful lace feminine dress or even the idea of that Lorex or La May again that brings a little shimmer and shine. Shoes have a bit of a chunky heel on them. Uh, many times it's a squash heel and often decorated, again driven by what we're seeing at Gucci, that idea of an embellished shoe that has jewels and embroidery and all sorts of beautiful flourishes look very right to the eye at the moment and fur trimming everything. We saw it at all the great houses at Etro today, beautiful fur trim military jackets over bohemian dresses at Bendy where it was ruffles and flounces and fur that had curvatures and waves all over them. Everyone's doing great fur pockets and deep fur trims on their sleeves. So a lot of luxury this season. Certainly designers addressing the idea of women wanting something that's very emotional, something that has a very beautiful quality that they can't find anywhere else. And they're doing that with all the special details we're seeing on all the runways.